Welcome back guys, I'm MJ Agus and this is my Let's Play of SnowRunner. Now as you can see, we are not in the Yukon region. We're overlooking the map for Tamir. And the, region, the reason I'm really wanting to come back here is because you can see I've got one gold tick covering the contracts. Oil Recon is a success. But drilling operation is underway, it's still not completed. And I don't like to leave things completely unfinished. If I were... The whole reason of this Let's Play was, originally, to find all the free trucks and all the upgrades for the trucks. And we've done that. Uh, laterally, as we progress through the Let's Play, because obviously there's quite a few episodes now, way more than I ever thought, a lot of the earlier regions, we haven't even started the main contracts, like Michigan and Alaska, and probably even Kola Peninsula. Uh, to me, we started probably because these tasks were required to get roads opened and other stuff. Um, further on, in fact, let's just start at Michigan. See, none of these have been done. Alaska is the same. Tamir, one. Cola, none. Yukon, well, we've obviously just completed that. Nothing in Wisconsin, which I thought we might have done something, but maybe not. Amur is a complete... Dawn complete, Maine complete, Tennessee's complete, and Glaze is complete. So I thought, well, this one's been half started. Let's get into this and do a little bit more of the drilling. And that is good because I like this region. It's it's a nice, diverse region. So I think I've already popped into the garage. Looking at drilling operation as underway is going to be involving Tega oil. We have done four of these already, and that was probably required for some reason because it's all the geo research. Might have been to get the garage open or something. I can't remember. Anyway, but there's not that much left. There's only six to do here, three of which are locked out at the moment. But there's some good ones because it's showing oversized cargo on at least two of them. See, there's a triangulation one that could be quite interesting. Uplink. Fairly standard, a Derek Delivery Oil Rig Drill. Now that could be a doozy of a task. Uh, and more oversized cargo. And we've still got a warehouse we could get access to. So I'm thinking, why don't we go back? While well, we're still waiting on year three, season nine, we could go back and get this hopefully completed. So that's what I think we'll go and do. I had considered doing some of the contests it was mentioned in the co uh, the comments uh, in the last episode. But the contests, I find, I'd be jumping about all over the place because they'd only take a few minutes. Whereas this will take a little bit longer. It's one region we can get stuck into for a wee while. And even then, we could come back and do some of the contests. So hopefully, Season 9 won't be far away. Oil rig restoration being the first one. And it does involve this oversized cargo... I really haven't done much homework on this, but we need to scan the area near the old drilling site. And that looks like it could be through in the quarry. So if we just actually jump into the quarry, will it actually give us any clues? The old drilling site. Well, there's a drilling... Is that a drilling site down there? Mm, oil sampling, road connection. There's a big trailer there. Mm, okay. But if I click on it, Nothing, it doesn't take me to anything. So we're going to have to go and bring something through. And it says seismic vibrator module required. So that's going to be the first part. So we need to get a vehicle, kit it out with that, and come through here. So that is what we're going to do. Back to the garage. Hey, am I already in the garage? I think I might be. Yes. Okay, yeah, we could use a Kiki more. It's way too much for this little job, I think. This guy, I, I don't think even this guy can fit it. A customize add ons. Seismic. Ooh, it does fit it. Okay, let's do it. I haven't used this one, and I did add the huge chunky monster tires onto this. I wasn't going to, but I thought, well, it's again, it's a mod, it's showing off. But these are the winter ones. We don't need the winters. We just need the muddy ones. 
a 53 inch crank is a whole lot to choose from isn't there there they are purchase them and we have the add-on no we didn't fit it after all of that oh i did i just it comes off for some strange isn't but anyway that's us why don't we go and do that close that close that oh oh yeah i've missed the the rain They are ridiculous tyres. They don't look quite so bad on the Kiki more because that's a big truck, but this thing, crikey. Well, it's certainly um, looking like it'll do the job. There's a, <laughs> a little prototype exploration unit that's been abandoned. I never got everything back to the garage in this region. Never mind. So we're going to go into the quarry. Good day. Been a while since we're back here. I rushed to get to this region and that was because after you go through the initial things through in Michigan you get the freedom of all the other regions and I wanted to get through here for the Tega which was abandoned. You had to go and recover it and fix it and get it back to your garage. And I knew that that was an awesome truck to have in your garage. And uh, that's why I jumped through here to get it. And it has, even throughout this whole Let's Play, it has been a regular truck that I've taken out because I just know it's such a all-rounder. You saw it not that long ago, picking up that ridiculously large trailer from it. Oh, was it the north of Big Salmon Peak and drop it off never thought it was going to be capable of that kind of a job but it did, did me proud so yeah, such a brilliant truck to get yeah, and I forgot where all the hidden bits are that will give us damage but never mind so I hope you don't mind coming back to join me in this Tamiya region for a wee while Nice to get out of the snow for a bit, for a bit, you know. Yukon's not that bad for the ice. I'm driving on the ice like the Kola Peninsula. Oh, remember what did we did that one for the? What did we go there through? Was that for the Zix Six Hundred Five R we went there for? Mainly and everything else, but that was the main goal. Was it the Six Hundred Five R? Can't quite remember. Oh, rain stop. Sun is shining. This is a very nice, easy start to this map. I need to turn off at some point. Is it there? No, I need to continue around and through. Okay. Well, we could have gone that way, but we're not going to. Let's follow the road. Now, just while we're here and we've got a wee bit of time to chat while we'll drive through, is I, I have got the new year three pass so i do have it and i did have a look uh, in the pts the public test server uh, to see if it was there and the new season nine is there but i didn't actually go into it at all because i, I want to keep everything as a, a surprise everything new to me so as i discover it it's, it'll be at the same time as you but i do have it there it was just in case was any problems and to see initially it's two maps but one's locked out but I didn't even go to the garage I just brought it up I'm dying to get into it something new again and there's new vehicles as well and uh, shall I get some fuel nah not often I say that but this thing has not drank that much fuel We've got the roof rack. 
In fact, there's a garage just... I'm sure there's a garage just through this gateway. Yeah. Still nothing from Focus Interactive about this. Season 9, so... It's teasingly close. I just kind of wish it would come, or it would give us a, a week it's due, so we can plan for it. Probably more frustrating than anything because I can't... I can't really do this kind of let's play, knowing that we're going to jump to that as soon as it drops. Because as soon as I get my teeth stuck into this, it'll, it'll come out. What's with all the hidden damage? I don't remember it being that bad before. But anyway, through to the quarry. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's a fuel station up there on the left. Go. Oh. Right. As expected, it was only one scanning. Normally they give you three. Okay, this won't take too long then. Let me have you bouncing about all over the map. We'll pop in here for just a wee top up. Go. 35 litres. Not an awful lot, is it? Right, okay, on the map, let's have a look. What have we got? 882 metres to the old drilling site. So, there's 600 metres, 7, 882. So it's not going to be that way. So it has to be down... 880, crikey, okay. Here? No, that's a 1,000 metres. Here? Yeah, that's looking... I did say it could be about here. 882, and that's 880. Okay, I think we've found where this could be. So let's set some waypoints, because I will get lost. In fact, let's put that one there. Oh, I want to leave that one. Let's take this one. That one there. Then we're going to... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. That one there. And then something like that. Yeah, that'll do. We'll see if it comes down even faster when we're heading south. 88, oh, 7, I see it's not coming down particularly fast there. 675. Now it should start to drop a bit quicker. I5, 4, so, oh yeah. I think this region gave us the step uh, as well. We step truck in the mud further over to the west. Oh, what, what, what? What was on the... Hey, well, I'm have no suspension at the end of this. the gate. I feel like I'm going full speed. Yeah, sick gear though. Sure, this map does not have because it's quite an early map in the game's life. I don't think they had super mud back then. I could be wrong. 
I'm sure that came in with a slightly later update. meters, not far. Man, those fallen trees, normally they wouldn't cause that kind of damage. You need to be careful. Eighty five, seventy eight. We're going to cut left here, isn't it? Yeah. And we are in. Ah, oh, see, I knew it was going to be here. That was a good guess. The clue was kind of on the map. Anyway, um, this we want to do that. complete. Uh, yeah, show me the damage. Have I got any tires about to disappear? Mm, not too bad. Just the suspension. Okay. Alright, well that's this guy done and dusted. Back to the garage. For him at some point, but again I'm going to do that later. Let's move on with this. Oversized cargo. Alright, back in the map. So that's where that's getting dropped off. And that's where we're picking it up. Oh, man. We haven't even been as far down in this corner. I think we did pick up a little scout fuel trailer. In fact, that could be up there. Shipwreck. Hmm. Oversized cargo. Delivered. Right, so that's not a trailer. That's just a container. So that's a four slot trailer I think that we need okay and that's where we're dropping it off we got a trailer stored here there is a trailer stored here so I can just bring through a truck grab some fuel what is it? I don't know why I've not left that well why I have left that there because I just sold it and we'll go to this trailer store. Right, okay. Guys, I'm going to jump back to the Drowned Lands garage and bring through a truck. And you know what? I might just... I might just grab the... the Tega. Because, I mean, that was one found in this region. Might as well use it. It's a great truck. Right, so I'll see you... I'll see you at this trailer store to save a bit of time. And we'll do the journey down and back up together. Right, back in a sec. Right, I'm here. I picked up this four slot trailer. It's the, I'll show you actually, it's easier for me to do that. All you Precep Kraz, 402 service parts and 700 litres of fuel in the drums, so that's handy. But anyway, I was looking for the JBE trailers that I had previously. And I did check when I went back to the garage in the Yukon, and they were still in the trailer store. But here, the JBE ones, nope, can't find them. And my mods, all the mods that I've downloaded are still there, so I don't understand where they've gone. Really peculiar. But anyway, this is the one we're going to go. It should be absolutely fine. And because it's an oversized cargo, I was about to leave the garage, and I thought, oh, crikey, I'm going to need a crane. So fortunately, this takes the crane and the trailer so that's mighty handy because I thought I don't want to bring two trucks down just left the cargo onto the back of this trailer anyway so that's where we're at let's fire up warm up again we are going to come out of the trailer store and we've got to get straight south yeah it's easier said than done okay kind of need to go up there then over to there Back down. Somewhere down to there. Like that. 
that's the route we're gonna go. So let's go. Ooh, can go out and hang ratio. Peg has been super awesome on the way here. Did pick up a little bit of suspension damage again. Those hidden things on the road. But while I was just there at that trailer store, I fixed this all up. Good to go. And the only other thing is, obviously, the the other Tega that we we acquire by doing the contracts, the six four five five B. It comes with a roof rack, so you get some extras with that, but not with this Tega. Hey, am I going left here? Is that a road? Oh, what? I hit that. It's a must have. It's a misty morning, I can hardly see the road. Oh, what? Did I climb up that, have we? I think we can go around that. Yeah, it's a bit easier. Okay, maybe not. That's the road up there somehow. Blimey. I don't remember being this way before. Unfortunately, the take is really good at rock climbing. Now there appears to be remnants of a road. Probably more suited to a scout vehicle than this thing. And that's the kind of performance you get from a a mod mod truck. But no, this is a Tega. Super awesome Tega. The uh, ambient mist is going to go away. I know it started raining, of course. And clear up again because it's so much nicer when it's a nice day. Really, all I am doing is looking for the next waypoint. I get a chance to look at the scenery. on gets into high ratio so nicely and it's a very comfortable speed to cruise along on, especially when you can't see the road. We're gonna hit that tree hopefully. See that ditch there, Forsy? No damage. Where's the road gone? I'm going the right way. We're past two watchtowers in this route. Ah, Andelli Place Scout Fuel Trailer, yes. Going this way. Don't really need it though, but it's handily placed. What's going on here? 
nasty mud. Oof. Forget how long this map is. I kind of think uh, it will be a longer than average episode here. Go on, Tiger. We have never been down to this bottom corner. That poor ship's seen better days. Can you see it through the mist? It's it's gone aground and it's keeled over. There's no mention of that in the description. Oh, that's mud. Freaky. I'm sticking close to the trees just in case I need a winch point. This is where the rescue efforts were put in. We left it in a right old quagmire. Right, where's my lovely shipping container? Don't tell me I can load it straight, I didn't even need the crane. Oh, it is the case. I feel a bit hard done by I thought it would be on the ground, you had to lift it up. But the description of the contract did not say a a crane is recommended. Oh well. We could have done it without, but never mind. Let's not hang about in the beach too much before we get sunk axle deep in it. I mean, I could have, if it was hardcore mode, I could have had to done it manually and spawned it in there. Let's get out of this bog. Go on. Oh yeah, it's not enjoying that at all. That's with the huge mud tires. Spinning them up. Go on. Buy me some solid ground. That's nasty, nasty stuff. It's not super mud. Otherwise you'd be going nowhere. They put in this all the way to the main road that I was on because it certainly seems like it. When I'm in the lowest ratio, I can't go any steadier. The wheels will just stop if I tried. Come on, this has got to be us coming out of it now. Come on. Yeah, those front wheels don't look as if they're deep in it anymore. Oh yeah, we are on the move. I just don't know where I'm going though. A hey, map, quickly. A. Hey. Right, okay, so we're going past the fuel scout trailer, round here, up to this junction, and basically in. 
Okay. Go, go, go. Suppose if I do tip over, having the crane would be handy. Well, no autonomous winch on this guy. Places of bog is raining yet again. I do recall me mentioning the rain was quite uh, regular in this region. I think I'll open that. Let's take some fuel out of that since it's there. Scout fuel trail, we've borrowed from it before. are spinning I'm trying to reverse. Is that because I'm caught on that tree? Could have been. Oh no, what have I done? No good winch points there and I'm in the trees. What is that all about? See for the trees. Okay, should have stuck to the road. This mod was going to be a bad idea, though. Should have maybe done that the first time, but you live and learn. I don't think I've driven this road when I first came here. Maybe. I'm not sure. far to go now though. Oh trailer way really off to Ooh, that was close I think. Ports I was turning left there. Yeah. This looks like another one of those corners I could catch you out. The soft stuff on the outside of the corner. E we could cut through. No hidden tree stumps or anything. Oh, where's the drop off? There it is. Uh, well, I'm getting the stutter where it cuts off my power. Interesting. But anyway, we made it. Yay for us. Bye bye. And a cutscene. We do like, oh, I do like a cutscene. 
going up. Guess we're going to be getting oil at this point at some point. So, oil rig restoration complete. Thank you. I'm very excited to see if the data points to an exploitable reserve. If it does, there's a talk of a promotion for me, of course. Okay. 4,850 cash, 580 XP, all irrelevant because we've got loads of money and we've got loads of, well, maxed out in 30 XP. Or level X 30, I should say. So, guys, uh, engine off. First one back in Tamir for this set of contracts. I hope you're enjoying it. Let me know in the comments if you want me to continue or if you've got other suggestions. Um, but anyway, we'll, I'll continue as we are until I hear otherwise. Guys, thank you so much for watching. You'll see me again soon. Bye for now.